Good day, Mrs. Marshallette. Welcome to Exclusive Events JA, where your events come to life. I'm Sabrina Smith, and I'm pleased to introduce to you my team of most competent event planners, Ms. Carissa White, Mr. Matthew Hall, Ms. Kimberly Getfield, and Ms. Anika Stewart, all of whom will be responding to your request for proposal for a four-day, three-night familiarization tour of the beautiful Ocho Rios, Jamaica, for a group of 19 wedding planners from Ontario, Canada. This event will provide a wealth of knowledge for the wedding experts under the theme to love, laughter, and happily ever after. Planning weddings in Jamaica in a post-COVID environment. This exciting four-day event will include a one-hour welcome cocktail upon arrival with a special guest speaker, as well as engaging workshops on health and safety, a meeting with clients in a virtual space, Destination Jamaica, endless possibilities, and the fine details, all the support services you need for planning weddings in JA. We will give you all the details you will need in order to make your final decision on the four main headings, logistics, finance, marketing, and operations. I now hand over to Ms. Carissa White, who will do a short overview of the logistics for this exclusive event. Thank you. So the Rio Hotel in Ocherius will be used to host the agents for this tour and this hotel was chosen for a number of beneficial reasons for one it is 67 minutes away six to seven minutes away from major attractions in that area it is also one hour and 21 minutes away from Sangstad international airport and the kingston norman manley airport along with that the hotel provides an event room large enough to observe physical distancing. Additionally, Rio Ocherius currently has a promotion taking place from April 5th through to the 30th, which discounts weekend stays as low as 85 US dollars per person per night at double occupancy. This will help us to give our clients a better value for money. The meeting and the tour will be hosted at the same hotel so the cost that would be associated with having them at different locations would have been eliminated. Along with that, the hotel has a beautiful scenery and is perfect for wedding planners considering a place to host a wedding. It is also keen to note that the hotel has a free medical care. Considering the current pandemic, medical assistance is crucial at this time. And I will be telling some of the sponsors that we'll be having. For one, we'll have the Juta Tours. The company operates island-wide mainly as a transportation, mainly as a supplier of transportation at all hotels and ports of entry. They were chosen with the aim of getting a discount on transportation for the four days. And along with that, they will benefit since they will be getting exposure. We chose Grace Foods, and this is a popular food manufacturer and distributor in Jamaica. They will be providing gift baskets for these persons attending, and they will also be getting a chance to promote their brand. We have Rio Resorts. Makes sense to have them as a sponsor since we'll be hosting the event there and the tour. And we are hoping that we'll have an discount on the rooms for the planets and also the resource has an opportunity to showcase the beauty and functionality of their space. We have the JTB which is a Jamaica tourist board and it is committed to ensuring the industry information is available to its affiliates and the public. We will also have the Ministry of Health and on this event they will be having a speaker from the Ministry of Health. 
So it makes sense to have them sponsoring it also. Matthew? Thank you for that. I'm Matthew Hall, Chief Financial Officer of this organization, and I'll give you a small financial breakdown of this meeting. So the room accommodations will go as two persons per room and they will be enjoying a junior suite. As for the support team, three of our members will be in one room while two others in another. We will also be in, in junior suites. Other expenses such as our transport for to and from the airport which will roughly be $30 per person and other expenses will be such as hotel meeting room use the printing of banners and other materials purchases of tokens and souvenirs for showing gratitude to our guest speaker and present presentators and also the allocation of the COVID-19 sanitation kits cause we definitely want to make sure that everyone is safe and sanitized and also in the will be our company service charges these are just of essence of what should be entailed in the financial aspect of our meeting good day again i'll also be taking you through the marketing for this exclusive event so the aim of finding event planners is to find the best in their field. That's our objective for this event. And we'll be using strategic promotion, which is a combination of different promotion tactics. So we'll be using word of mouth. But we know word of mouth has its limits because you know it's verbal communication, people might get details incorrectly and so on. So we'll be using a number of other tools such as posters. We'll also be using platforms, social media platforms. We know we have COVID now, so physical contact is limited. So top, top some of the top social media sites, including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, will be used to promote this exclusive event. As well, we'll be partnering with the Wedding Planners Institute of Canada which is the main certification body for wedding planners in Ontario, Canada. And the Wedding Planners Institute of Canada also offers certification for wedding planners outside of Canada, some of which include Jamaicans. So we'll be sending them a letter of request along with our flyer and all the other details to let them know of our event and our interest for their planners to come to Jamaica and experience this wonderful three night four day event that will be beneficial to them. So we know they might have past students who are top in the industry. So we're just gonna request 19 of those people to come to Jamaica on our familiarization tour. And we haven't forgotten about our sponsors. Now our marketing plan for our sponsors is that on all our flyers, all our mass communication, whether it be by word of mouth or mostly anything in print, anything that is published on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, will bear the logos of the main sponsors for this exclusive event. So that in a nutshell is our marketing plan for this event. And now hand over to Miss Anika Stewart, who will go through the operations for this event. Hi everyone, my name is Anika Stewart and I will be discussing the schedule for our four-day conventional meeting. Day one, our guests will arrive at the hotel at 3 p.m. in which they will get settled for a meeting to begin at 6.45 p.m. At 6.45 p.m. to 7 p.m., there will be a registration process after which there will be a welcome cocktail reception for our guests. That will end at 8 a.m. after which guests will be dismissed for day two. Day two will begin at 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. in which guests will have their breakfast. At 8.30 a.m. guests will then gather at a destination where they will be given a grand tour of the hotel from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. 
after this tour, guests will be dismissed so that they can go and have a rest so that they can get ready for a second meeting at 6.45 to 8 p.m. This meeting, will, there will be a discussion about the, I'm um, sorry, this meeting will be about health and safety precautions as well as um, planning meeting in a virtual environment. After which, the guests will be dismissed and day three will begin at 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. where the guests will have breakfast. Yes, well, the guests will meet at our location so that they can go for a grand tour of Orchardis. This tour should be from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. After the guests get back to the hotel, they will be given time to get rest and prepare for a meeting from 6.45 p.m. to 8 p.m. This meeting will be about why Jamaica should be the destination for weddings. After day three has ended, guests will be dismissed and day four will begin at 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. which they will have breakfast and then at 9 a.m. there will be a discussion for the various type of families in Jamaica that will be followed by a coffee break and fun activities after which guests will be given the time to get packed so that they can leave the hotel at 12 p.m. for their flight. Thank you. That is the end of our presentation.